All right, take one of setting up the multiplexing at NJ Sound. Take one. Hi, I'm John Cannon, also known as Jai Beam from River Edge, New Jersey, njsound.com, jibeam.com. I'm doing this tutorial to discuss how we're setting up the multiplexer at NJ Sound so we can record high, fide high fidelity audio and video for live streaming or post-production, pre-production, and all those fun things. So I'm gonna go step-by-step -step with how this solution is working. You can see there's a camera way over there. Hello, how are you doing? I'm gonna walk over there right now. So um, this is the camera too, but I can have up to four cameras and um, so I'm going to go step by step using the NJ Sound high fidelity audio from API, Neve, Chandler, Vintech, Burl, Amec, and uh, that's going to be plugged into the Aerocaster, two channels through the uh, Aerocaster so that performances, which I'm going to perform acoustic guitar. So basically, the, the, the signal path is the cameras multiplex to the Aerocaster, four cameras. I only have two right now. Um, and you can see camera one, camera two. And um, it's recording all the phones. These are on iPhone 14 Pros or iPhone 14s. Both, we have two iPhone 14 Pros and two iPhone 14s. And I have the uh, lavalier mic here little itchy mic here so I get good quality audio going into one of the cameras and I can use that as the audio feed. So it's synchronized with the Roland Aerocaster which is in the corner over there. Let me uh, show you that right now. So this is a work, by, work in progress. I just got it a few days ago and I've been just experimenting and I've been sending out videos posting things to YouTube uh, but I want to show you how this is going to integrate to create live performances, talk shows, interviews, um, podcasts, reality TV shows, among other things. Just maybe just gaming. If you're just gaming, you have three or four gamers here playing on different consoles, and it could be all done as a video production. So uh, let's take a look, closer look. Stay tuned. Here we go. We're going to look at things closer. So I just relocated the Aerocaster right next to the big mixing board and the Pro Tools and all the setups. And let's see, I'm just recording this. And I put in the uh, quarter inch TS cables, hooked it all the way through here. I'll clean up the cables later and patched it into the output one and two of the. Orion. So what I'm going to do is record a simple test signal. I'm just going to do a tone generator, signal generator. Um, other signal generator mono. All right. And we have success. There's a signal coming in to uh, channel one and two so it's going to the feed over here on the let me just get this going come on on here let's get this going you can see it's got a signal right there it's going into channel one and two it's coming right out of i had it patched wrong i had it patched below it's patched above patched above right there and that's the tone generator, signal generator. Well, that was a big disappointment. Um, <clears throat> the uh, two quarter inch connections from the Orion HD uh, 32 plus created a tremendous amount of static. Um, I don't know why they're staticky. Um, they're not balanced. They're just uh, unbalanced and um, 
the it could be a defective Roland. Uh, let me just see what the hell is going on here. It could be a defective Roland Aerocaster. I'm going to test it with some other microphones, see if it's got bad noise on them. And I'll probably return it for a replacement.